Welcome back, baby! <laughs> we are back with a how-to episode. Today, we are gonna learn how to draw hands the new way. The new way. First, you start off with a square. And at the end of that square, you kind of turn it into like a triangle. As you can see here, yeah? and then you start to like add like little fish fingers at the end of that uh, triangle. See how I do it? Like I leave a gap between some fingers and then leave the two middle fingers close together, so it looks like it's an actual hand position. And then, uh, oh my God! Look at that thumb! It looks like a snail. And then you can at the at the end of the square, you kind of like. Put like two uh, like quarter circles, and then you branch off then to lead the hand. Now, for a perspective point of view, you start off with that pen is at the end, quite wide. And then you move off further to make it smaller, and then uh, basically perspective for you. Beep beep beep. I. Star, 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 H, E, S, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah. If you can see how I'm drawing it, draw along with me. Because I don't know if my hand is blocking the view. Why am I trying to be in rhyme all the time? It just don't make sense. Uh, oh. Now this is one of the arms I really love to do. I really love doing proportions. So here you go, like the elbow. It's all, it's all about making things smaller and then enlarging them. So where, so where my thumb is at the top, at the top there. You see, there's a like a shoulder, shoulder circle. Then you go go off to like the bicep and then the forearm. It's kind of like small, and it leads off to a larger hand. So yeah, that's how I do my uh, do it perspective. And look at this fist. It looks like a robot eating a bloody uh, bent sausage. Yeah, makes. Nick's thinking, uh, oh my god, how am I doing this? What am I doing? Oh my god, oh my god. <clears throat> As you see there, I added some uh, some cross hatching. Well, I didn't cross hatch, I just put some lines in to make it look like, look like a shadow. <clears throat> Here I'm doing, uh, kind of looks like a boot, like a man boobs and uh, abs. But actually, no, it's the palm of the hand. You've got the top half, and then you've got the, the lines leading up to the thumb and then to the fingers. Sorry you can't see how it's drawing. I thought you could when I was filming it, but basically I don't have the right proper filming equipment. Well I have the I have the right filming equipment, it's just I've got such a small desk I can't film an overhead view. Technically this is an overhead view, but my hands are still too massive. Good quality. Good quality videos, but it's just it just doesn't work when I uh, when I start to draw. Yeah, I don't know how to uh, I don't know how to change it. Maybe down the future I'll need to get a uh, drilling a camera into the wall and film it from upside down. But for now. This is what you're gonna stick with. <laughs> so yeah. Should I leave you to it right now? Or should I leave the magic happen? -da 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 -da. What am I doing now, eh? This voiceover lock is difficult. It's not so serious anymore. Can you tell what this is? 
comment down below before you finish finish drawing it. It's not a penai. I can tell you that it's not a man thing. And by four, three, two, one, it's actually no. Look, it looks like multiple penai now, doesn't it? Oh my God! Look at that head. Nope. <coughs> this is how I draw hands for shortened in like a open palm view. <coughs> Doesn't look dodgy at all, does it? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to show you there that I'm doing an open palm, like an open hand. Using perspective, you do the large, you do the thumb to the finger, and then you kind of like bring in the finger, the other, the other three fingers next to it to try and mend them together, bend them. Get them large down to the small. As you can tell, I suck at describing things. I may as well just talk while I'm drawing. Maybe I'll try that next. <laughs> and again, my hand is covering the drawing. I am sorry, guys. Oh, look at this. Look how clean those lines are. You're not a professional until you can do messy lines like that. I dare you to do better lines like that. And if you can do better lines than that, hashtag the art of Stephen Jones on Instagram and Twitter. Okay? Let me know if you can do better than me. We shall see. If you are better than me. And that's a challenge. I'm challenging anyone who's watching these videos to draw better hands than me. I bet you can't. I am the most professional expert drawer in the UK. Bruh! Yeah, bruh. I like to see you beat me. As you can see, <laughs> I was drawing off camera. I had no idea what. <laughs> it just, it, it just wasn't working out. As you see, now I'm trying to show you how to symbolize the hand. Start off with a simple square, and you can change that. You can put that square in different angles to make it look like it's far away, further in. Like, it's all about distance. Small, wide. If you can see that. Does this make sense? Can you, can you read the writing? You know? I bet you can read the writing, come on. Don't fool me. Hey, there's the other half. Rectangle fingers. That's how you draw a hand. That's the first sheet done. Now on to the second sheet. That's the end. Oh, what am I doing now? Am I having another break, you lazy bugger, Nick? Stop sitting on that badass of yours. Get drawing, show people how to draw, all right? Or oh, a line. Very smart, Nick. How dare you try and outsmart me? Come on, do something better. Oh, oh, he's actually doing something. Those fat hands of his are actually moving. Bloody doppelganger. Thinks he's better drawer than me. You suck, Nick, you suck! As you can see, I'm using all that process from the first part. You know, tr trying to replicate that into a larger hand. 
But if I'm honest, it's too damn square like, Nick. You need more rounder, rounder, rounder. So all I can just tell you, I, I, I suck at explaining things. I'm, I'm going to be serious for a minute. I suck at explaining things, as you can tell. I've repeated that twice now, but this is just showing you the process of how I draw. And basically, if you can copy this and make it better yourself, it's basically an easy process to do to draw a hand. And this is all from imagination. I'm not telling you how to draw from reference. Although, if you copy from this, you could draw from reference, but yeah. It's all about lines and choosing what kind of placement you want with your hands, so. You just do the best that you can. I'm not gonna. My philosophy is don't care what other people think. Just draw the way you want to draw. Alright? That's all. That's all the important things. As long as you like your drawing, that's the main thing. Do what you want to draw, not what anyone else wants to draw. The more you draw the stuff you like, the better you'll get. So you'll prefer women. You prefer to draw women. Just keep drawing women until you think you're better. You're you're as good as you can be. And then if you if you can't draw men, start drawing men. Draw men you like to draw. Draw trans people. I don't care. Just as long as you have fun doing it, you'll get better. Right? Okay. Okay. So yeah, I am signing off for now, maybe I'll pop back between the end of the video, I will be back, okay, fine, just go Nick, just go.
guys. I hope you enjoyed that uh, this little tutorial. Obviously the best tutorial on YouTube, right? Give me a high five guys, come on. The best video ever. No bragging right now. But seriously, now that I think the hand, look how epic that hand is. Doesn't look crap at all, does it? Best hand you've ever seen, right? Let me know in the comments below how good that hand is. Come on, give me some love. I don't have any love from anyone else, but come on. Give me some love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back to this series. Thank you for checking out my YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And let me know what you'd like to see from me next. No, seriously. I want to do more videos for you guys. Let me know what you'd like to do. Like me to see if you would like me to make a fool of myself, I will. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Oh, yeah.